Alright, we're gonna be really quick about this review. There is one hope in this in this whole thing is the Neo Vision Awakening, which is surprising, but Setzer, SLB, his STMR is whatever at this point. Do we care about normal attacking anymore? No, not really. And he's SLB, like I said, he has 150 percent amp, not locked to anything. So that's literally probably so far the only plus that I saw. And then it was like this? 25%? Are you kidding me? We'll be looking at all these other abilities here soon. Uh, 120 times mod. Cool. He's a TDH unit. Cool. And then there's like all this stuff like... These abilities are not strong enough to, to warrant anything. Uh, even two thousand, even three thousand times is still not enough because it's fixed damage, fixed attack, whatever. It's it's that white element, uh, which is not influenced by a lot of things. So none of this is useful. He he does get one at the beginning of the battle, but it's like, is are you ever gonna are you gonna waste your time using any of these abilities? No. And then he has twenty seven hits. 380, so that's 480, over 500 something times mod, which is just okay. 45% throwing weapon in pearl. That's pretty. The only highlights really is that he has the 150% amp not lock anything, and he has 45% throwing weapon in pearl, which could combo, could have comboed well with lock, but uh, lock is fire. So yeah, if this was not elemental, he'd be a lot better actually. He'd be a lot better. I'd be giving him a much higher score. He's gonna get like a six. He's not very good. So as you can see, why I would not been make slides for him. There's just nothing really to say. There's no. This is not Setzer that we are used to seeing, like his four star form where it was crazy and everything. And then his five star form was just it was out there. But this is part of the course, not premium, so it's the S word. Anyways. Rydia is probably going to be, Rydia, not probably, it is going to be worse. If for some reason someone is putting a gun to your head and they, they're forcing you to pull on the spanner, you would rather have Setzer than Rydia because Rydia is just terrible. First of all, EX2 needed for 60% amp for all allies. In a few months, that's probably going to be 100% for all, all allies. For on a, on a new unit, that's probably going to be 100%. Uh, currently at 60 we're at the 60 percent power creep so that's pretty much worthless on a 10 turn cooldown now if that was a three turn cooldown you could argue that actually might be decent for consistent overall damage over the course of the amount of turns you need to win but 10 turn cooldown no thank you and unless for three turns too so that's that's just really not good and as usual i said this in my, in my news video you gotta make Esper units stronger, you gotta make Evoker units stronger, and they only give a 30 times mod boost, which there's only one way of uh, doing that. That unit's STMR is the only other way of doing uh, boosting that up. So, really, the highlight is actually her field effect of 50% uh, amp, earth amp. That's it. All of her modifiers are really low. Resistances, why should we care about any of those? And she does have tornado chaining, okay, cool, but. It's 40% for rod in peril, okay, cool, but. I'm not even gonna give a score. Just not very good. Just not good. Uh, if they if their modifiers were a little higher, because like at this point, do we care about evoker stuff? Like going through mitigation at this point. I mean, the, the stats of the bosses are so high that it doesn't even matter if you can go through mitigation a lot of the time. So yeah, dragon got crowns. He actually got more upgrades than just the crowns. Uh, eighty-five percent break. Cool. I believe the modifiers for the jumper are a little bit higher. And he does have 170 times mod, so let's go ahead and add all that up. So 440 times with all that equipment on the cane, or not the the wyvern helm, the vision card. Um, 
uh, the accessory from Kamari, and then the mod buff there. So, pretty good. 440 times as a jump. Pretty good. He still is lacking amps that are going to be successful, useful. No 100%. Or I guess you could. I mean, I, nope, you can't do 100%. You can't even give him 100% because you can't give it to him while he's in the air. So, he has a huge modifier, but can you take advantage of it compared to other jumpers? I don't know. It's the same thing for both sides, by the way, so. Pretty good crowns. Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. People who are more experienced with Dragoons may have a good answer to that. I only use them for a little bit. I like Dragoons, but I've only used them for a little bit, so I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough to sacrifice not having an amp on your character compared to a, you know, an LB finisher that has 150% amp, stuff like that, so we'll have to see. <sighs> Grill. 140 times. Modifier. I don't know what well, I don't know what anyone was expecting from this. Two thousand flat attack. You'll have a lot of attack yeah, under the lower right leader skills. You have a lot of attack, but it doesn't matter. Probably not, because uh, low modifiers. But we'll see. As she has two thousand flat attack with the rest team more, so let's we'll see. And here is. The highlight of the whole thing, Magic Chaitera. So she has Neo Vision Awakening, her STMR, or TMR, sorry, her TMR gives 2000 flat stats, so that's nice. I don't know if that's allowing you to, to craft that to being able to be two handed, I'm not sure. But she is true to wield, but she also has TDH with the 100% cap there. So it's something. You did get more ability modifiers. So, and I believe all these got changed too, so they're a little bit stronger. So, with the right chaining, like if you had two Terras, this might actually be decent damage. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the best damage of all time, but for a free to play player, who is someone who doesn't have a lot of mages, and for some reason, if you can find someone who can do Chaos Wave Awakened, this might be decent damage. I'm just saying. Um, she is, she can be TDH, she can be tr uh, true dual wield, but obviously true dual wield, probably not the absolute best thing in the world since she does not have eight times cap. If she had eight times cap, she might be one of, she might be one of the, she might be the best new vision awakening in the game, but she does not. So it is what it is. Now, while she has a lot of passives here and everything, most of them are really old from her, from her old kit. And all she got is just these two things here. One of them is okay. The fill to full, to full. And actually, she got a more modifiers than what normal on the Vision Awakening get 100 times. So it's something, but she doesn't have a store buff, I don't think. She doesn't have a store buff, which kind of hurts. That kind of sucks. She doesn't have a store buff, so that kind of reduces a lot of her damage, I guess. It is what it is on that, guys, but she does have 30% sword in peril. And 250 times, that's uh, 350 times, 27 hit chaining on her SLB, so not too terrible. Obviously, you're not using a regular LB there. It's not good. But, yeah, man, I'm, if this was, I wish this carried, why didn't this just carry over this part? If this, if this 50% defense ignore was on here, she would actually be putting, hitting pretty hard. Um, none of this stuff is really... Awakened or anything. I mean, yeah, it is, but like, it's nothing too special. It's what everybody has. And uh, sadly, none of this got changed. So, yeah, she's good. But she could have been great with a few minor things. And then we have Cezat, who I don't think anyone used. Maybe, maybe you did. I think you may have used his STMR, because I did. But, like,. What is there to say about him? Like, there's nothing really to say about him. Like, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but it's just like, what is there really to say? He would be really good in like fights that require only, you know, fights of that or he's from. Is that six? No, five. If there's like any Final Fantasy five restricted fights, and you don't have any magic tanks, 
then this was this is where you would use him, pretty much. But other than that, like, what is? I don't really see a point to it. I mean, is that still be 24 hits? 10k HP barrier only for two turns, though. Decent mitigations. Mediocre break, but that's okay. And only 200 times. What is that? Uh, is there any cooldowns for that? 100 times, so. Just okay. Obviously, Terra is probably the highlight of what most people are looking for. I think I think that they definitely gave Terra the time she needed. I just wish they gave her a little bit more, but you, you have to take what you can get when it comes to the New Vision Awakenings. You can't expect the world anymore. Uh, there are some highlighted New Vision Awakenings, like uh, the Axstar one, and then Terra. There have been some good. Ga there, let's be honest. There, over over the course of the last few years, there actually have been. Let's be fair. There's been a few good New Vision Awakenings. Uh, so at least we have that, so it is what it is, but overall, do not pull on this banner. Do not pull on this banner. I mean, this is clearly just fodder, just like those other, the other one, the, the Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. Those were clearly bait, and then there was much better stuff right afterwards. So, I would, I would just not pull on this banner. Alright guys, this is a lot longer video than I wanted to do, but I wanted to create... A lot of the video are on uh, Magic to Terra, so make sure to look out for her when she comes to Global. Maybe it'll be interesting to f find out if she's even stronger um, with the uh, Global Vision cards and things. So let's see. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.